Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 17, Dementor's Kiss. Free play for Lego Harry Potter years one through four. You can see on the right, we get all the collectibles for this level, except for that one gold brick that you get for beating the story mode of this level. And uh, True Wizards at 60k, and we're going to need a Dark Arts or Dark Magic Wizard in order to complete this level. So here we are at the Leaky Cauldron. We'll go ahead and slide on out to the Dementor's Kiss free play. And uh, we'll grab whichever character, because it knows what we need and who we have. So... And we know that we need who we have, so. Oh, yeah. All right, starting off here, we're going to go ahead and bust a bunch of pumpkins right in their face because we are pumpkin haters today. Actually, no, ladies and gents, it's not good to destroy pumpkins. It's a big mess, causes a big hassle for everyone. But there is an iron cage or a steel cage or something, silver cage, on the left. We do need to destroy that with Reducto, and it will free the bird, and he will release the first house crest, which is now ours for the taking. So, hey, you may have noticed that over in the right-hand corner there is this, like, bucket, and there was a flower in it, and if you shot the flower, it actually made the flower move away. Well, that's a good thing. However, we need to, uh, basically, I, I messed up right there, because I actually hit it again, and it returned it to the bucket, and we need it to be out in the middle there so we can pick up this mandrake now that we have the earmuffs. And uh, at that point, once the mandrake's inside the pot, you smack it again, it actually moves it to another spot and dumps over the fish in the barrel. So we're going to do a little smashing pumpkin scene again here. And it's only for the studs, people. It's only for the studs. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, it's kind of like uh, Halloween time when you're carving a pumpkin and you're getting all those pumpkin seeds out. It's kind of like that, but a little different. And uh, basically, you got to use Wingardium Leviosa a couple times. Once to feed the fish and uh the next to build the parts and then now you're gonna have to wait for the chicken wang to be done and once it is once it's barbecue chicken go ahead and feed that over on um, oh yeah oh yeah and last but not least all we need to do is pick up the axe with leviosa one more time and the axe gets the old chop chop chopperoo and uh off we go that's how, it, that's how it rolls. So as soon as we start the next area, we're going to head on over to the left-hand side. And you might notice that there is a, a beehive over here with some bees in it or hornets. Black widow. No, I guess black widow spider. Black uh, yellow jackets is what I was going for. And uh, anyways, go over to the far left corner and free the student in peril and turn that frown upside down. Now, hey, uh, I might go ahead and take a moment here to, uh, while I'm destroying all these items and picking up all these studs, we do have quick links down below in the video description. If you're new to our videos, uh, down below there should be a series of links that'll take you to each of the items that are in this video. And all you have to do is just click the little time frame or the little timestamp there and it should take you to that spot in the video. Now, if you're here hanging out, what's up? We're just gonna chill and roll on out. We did fill the water up by uh, using Leviosa to build those clouds, which they were uh, actually held up in the sky by a couple of pixies. We needed to use a mobilize for that. Oh, look at that, doing the backstroke, huh? I don't know why I always had a trouble as a child doing the backstroke, and even as an adult, an adult I still have troubles. I don't I always have an issue with water in my ears, and I feel like I'm in a sink. And in my later years, as I put on a few pounds, that would probably be the case. I would probably sink. All right, so now that we're getting our bounce on in that back shroom, picking up that bluesy up top, we're going to head back and destroy everything in sight again because we weren't sure we were going to have enough uh, studs in order to get that true wizard. But it turns out we do. Spoiler alert. But inside the pond that we filled up, there may have been a frog or two that you may have noticed. And we're going to go ahead and hop on the back of the frog sitting there, and he's going to basically take us to victory and hook us up with that house crest number two. And uh, thanks there, froggy frog. And right after we get done with that, we can go ahead and switch to our digger of choice. In our case, we had Hermione out, so we go ahead and pull out the old kitty cat, Crookshanks. And uh, once we get our dig on, we actually find not only is there a hole down there, but there's a little item that we can build up with Leviosa that gives us a little trail up top. But there's also a little record in there. We'll come back to that record here in a minute. It is actually kind of important. But uh, now that we're up on this upper level, we're going to head on over to the right-hand side. And all that's over here is a handful of studs and a little treasure chest. I wonder what's in that treasure chest. Oh, spoiler alert, just popped up down there. Character token. So go ahead and get your smash on. And we'll go ahead and pick up the character token for Professor Lupin, which, surprisingly, we're halfway through this video, and that was the first character token thus far. So 
Now we're going to swoop back around the front side of this pond, and we're going to ignore the little uh, lily pads out there and the back side for now. But we're going to drop down this little, uh, what is it, xylophone? Or I don't remember what those things are called. Megaphone, something, something. And uh, go ahead and uh, we'll build it up. It's what it is. It's a record player is all it is. It's an old-fashioned record player. And build it up. And on the left-hand side, there are uh, there is a record. And we're going to go ahead and play that. And then you might remember a minute ago, we dug that hole, and inside there was another record. So we're going to grab that. We're jumping for joy. Woohoo! Woohoo! And we're going to go ahead and make them bones dance again. Them bones, them bones, them dance and bones. Woohoo! All right. And once you get both of those records played, you actually get rewarded with the red house crest. So, third one of the four. We're almost there. A couple more items to smash and grab here. So we're going to do that. Got to have them all. You know us, being the old stud horn all. All right. So here we go, right back in the middle here. We hop across the lily pads and use Wingardium Leviosa on the little crane hook there, fishing hook, whichever you want to call it. And then go ahead and use Reducto on it to make it splash down and grab the treasure chest, which then you can smack open and it reveals a golden record. So somebody went platinum. It must be Snoop Dogg. No, I don't know who it is. The Beatles, perhaps? I don't know what you listen to. Bieber? <laughs> I don't know. Regardless, go down and drop it on the record player, and it actually teleports us out, and now we're in this new area. So, again, this might be one of those moments that you want to use the quick links down below. The next one's going to be for character token number two, and uh, maybe you don't need a character token. Maybe you just need a house crest. So, whatever you need, click that button down below. But uh, we're going to head off to the left-hand side. You saw us destroy a bunch of items and use Wing Guardian Leviosa to build up a bridge there, which then we double-backed around and went up top, and we used Luma Solum to go ahead and free that rock, which now we've got a bunch of baddies floating around. I I'm going to call them Dementors because this is the Dementors level. So hopefully I got that one right. I know a few of, few of them I've called them Dementors, and they're Bogerts or Bogerts. I don't know how you prefer that I call them, but... Anyways, we hopped up to the top up here, and there happens to be a little air pump. And if you pump, 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 pump it up, it actually spews out a bunch of co uh, coins or studs. And uh, we're going to go ahead and grab them all. And in our case, it actually put us over the top and gave us that true wizard status for 60k. So, oh, uh, yeah. Look at that. We got some more bluesies over here and some more things to destroy, which will definitely give us some more studs. So if you haven't gotten to true wizard status yet, don't worry. And we only have the two times multiplier on. So if you have another multiplier that's higher, uh, it certainly will get you there faster or more multiples. So we only have the one. So you saw us. We destroyed the, the two items on the right hand side with Reducto that actually gave us access to that character token over now. And uh, then we made our way up and over. We built up some items that you probably saw before we destroyed the Reducto walls back there. And uh, we made our way all the way up top now using a little bit of Leviosa. And once we're up top, we're using the Dark Magic to go ahead and destroy some items. There are three pillars up here. Two of the three yield items. You saw us get the House Crest, and now we just got that character token. So we are good to go on all of the items, including the Student in Peril. So if you're following along for the collectibles, pat yourself on the back. We are officially done with this level for that sense. And uh, if you're hanging out to finish the level, we do have a couple of uh, baddies to take out here. So we're using our spell to remove Dementors. Dementor be gone! Tss, tss, tss. It's actually an aerosol can that we're spraying on them. Tss, tss. Dementor be gone! Dementor be gone! All right, and guess what? Once you get all of them taken out, it's totals time. So one, two, three character tokens. Ah, ah, ah. And of course, all four house crests as promised. And uh, this particular level, we did not have the true wizard status coming in from the story mode playthrough. So we're going to go ahead and stack that up. We're going to get gold brick for that here in just a second. And uh, look at that, one and three quarter million. It looks like we're going to be pretty stinking close to two million after finishing year three here. And hey, we turned that frown upside down because we saved that student in peril. And one, two, three more gold bricks added to our collection, which means that's it. So that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for Lego Harry Potter years one through four, level 17, Dementor's Kiss, free play. As always, we hope you found this video informative and entertaining. And uh, if you guys have any questions or, you know, maybe have a suggestion for us, whatever the case may be, why don't you head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or comment, vote, subscribe down below. We do have G+, Instagram, and Twitch, if you're into those kinds of things. And all the links for all of these, including HappyThumbsGaming.com, which is the home of our product and gaming reviews and trophy achievement guides, can all be found down below with our quick links and playlist links. we got all sorts of links down there for you. We try to make it as easy as possible for you guys, so make sure you click that C 
see more option on the video description if you can't see it all. And check it all out because uh, we put in a lot of work for you guys. And we hope we, uh, we hope we made it easy. So, anyways, that's it. As always, until next time. Dementors kiss is on my list and I'm rolling on out. So yep.